Well, howdy, folks, and welcome to another little episode of Real Country with Jeff and Melanie. Just a little quick little video. Here it is, the 3rd of March. We got some pretty warm weather. Uh, look out in the yard out there. You can see the grass is already starting to green up. The trees are budding, and it won't be long before spring will be sprung. We got about, I think, two weeks, and the time changes. Go back to the long days and the fish will start of spring. But right now, I was just going to show you a little bit. We're fixing to start setting out some of our plants in cups. And I won't bore you with all of it, but just thought we'd show you a little bit. We're going to plant some tom uh, large red cherry tomato plants. And uh, sometimes, uh oh. You'll have to excuse, we're in the front yard this evening, it's near the main road. Sometimes I use the seeds you get at the uh, dollar store, and they happen to be four for a dollar. And I've had just about as good result with them as the high dollar seeds, most cases. But we're going to set out just a few cherry tomatoes and some beef steak this evening. Like I said, I won't bore you with all of it. But we've got some of these little used six pack cups. And if you go to your local big stores, uh, like around us, we have a Home Depot. Uh, when people buy them, sometimes they'll leave behind the little trays and they'll leave behind the big trays. And uh, they just pile them up and anybody that wants them can ask for them. And got a bag of pot and mix. Now, a lot of times I like to make my own but right now I'm just in a hurry to get started. So this is a bag of leftover from last year pot and mix. And ain't nothing wrong with it. And we've actually got ants in here, as you can see. Now these ain't fire ants, so see they're getting all over me right now. I'll put them back in the bag before I make them mad. Even them kind can bite. But they're not gonna hurt anything. And once I water them, most of them will get out of the uh, little six packs. But ants can get in there and help a plant sometimes. They'll help the irrigation. They'll dig little tunnels down around the roots and it helps the plant come up. One of the best pepper plants my dad ever grew when I was a boy actually had a fire ant bed right in the middle of it. And uh, that thing made some of the prettiest, hottest pepper and made it up until November when the hard frost come. But all I'm gonna do, we fill these up with some potting mix and I'm gonna sprinkle out a few seeds right here. Like I said, we're not gonna do a whole lot. This is what I call idiot simple, so I can do pretty good at it. But we're just gonna place a couple of seeds. Uh oh, let me switch hands here. Turn the camera upside down, a couple of seeds, pop a little hole, drop you one or two in there, come over to the next one, just push them down a little bit, cover them back, and we'll do this all through these. Let's see, grab a couple, drop them in there, just lightly cover them, we don't want to bury them. Hello, Mr. Squatch. My big puppy dog's coming for some loving. All right, move, move. They just want some loving. But the bad thing is they pick some of the worst times to want some loving. Now, I'm not going to bore you with the whole tray because I know this is repetitive. We're just going to drop them in there and just lightly cover them. And let's see here. I'm putting about two per hole. Oh. And I'm hoping these cherry tomatoes, they will germinate in seven to ten days. And then when they come up pretty good size, we'll transfer them out into the garden in cages. But uh, they should start producing 
in about 50 to 75 days. So let me shake a few out and at least finish this little cup right here. Well, plenty of them in there, they're just being hard headed, don't want to come out. Let's see. There we go. I tell you, in one way I'm looking forward to spring, and in another way I'm not. I always enjoy the planting and the baby chicks and the baby quail. And we got a little update on some other stuff I'll tell you about in just a second. But the bad thing is, down here in LA, Lower Alabama, we don't have a true spring. We go from winter time to summer like a rocket. And that's what I don't like. I sweat so much, it's so hot. Today it got up to about 77, and it's to March the 3rd. We've been in the 70s and low 80s, off and on. I'm just top dressing a little bit of this with some extra soil I got over here in the cup. But we've been already having 70 and 80 temperatures in February. So it won't take us long to be in the 90s and pushing the hundreds. And I'd much rather build a fire or put on a coat than I had to uh, sweat eight months out of the year. Alrighty, and now I got this little primer water jug here. We just gonna mist it. And like I said, I won't take you through the whole process and do all these trays, that'd be boring. I'm boring enough. But now I'm just gonna let this mister lightly soak and help get these seeds ready to kick off. Uh oh. I think I wet one of my decals here. Excuse me. Alrighty. And let me get up and walk around here for a second. Alright big boy. Old Squatch is wanting to get into everything. We got a little chicken update. This is a little makeshift pen we made. And as all my luck, we are overpopulated with roosters. And we're starting to have a problem. They want to be too rough on the girls. So I uh, hate to enlighten <laughs> Talk to me, son. We hate to enlighten them. But uh, tomorrow, weather permitting, we gonna get down to one barred rock and one Rhode Island red. And I hate to say it, yeah, big man, the rest of these young men are going to freezer camp. So, not trying to be ugly, but uh oh, I'm blinding in the sun. Let me turn this thing around. Uh, some of these boys are going to wind up in a good old chicken and dumpling pot. And uh, in just a few minutes, let this old truck get by. He's on a tear today. In just a few minutes, we've got to run and meet a gentleman. You know, we raise quail here. Uh, we enjoy the eggs. They're fresh. They're healthy. Takes eat a lot more than you do hen eggs, but they're better for you. And... Uh, We've had our quail now for about two years, and it's time to update the crop, get some fresh blood in the system. So we're gonna be meeting a young man in about an hour and a half, and uh, I'm gonna be getting some new hatching eggs, and we're gonna incubate them and get us some fresh blood in here. And we're supposed to pick up, I think it's uh, four dozen eggs, some Caternix quail eggs. Uh, so we're looking forward to that process coming and between now and this fall we hope to expand our quail as much as we can. But folks that's the little video. I think big man thinks he's auditioning to avoid freezer camp and he may do it. <laughs> that's that right big man. That's right. But anyway folks like I say Hopefully you enjoyed this little video. We'll show you some more planting as time goes on. I've got a lot of tomatoes, a lot of pepper. And uh, 
If you like the little videos, please hit the like, hit the subscribe. We sure do appreciate everybody that watches. We're going to try to bring more content and better content. And we're expanding into all things that we normally do. We're going to try to show everything. The farming, the fishing, the hunting, the food, and how you make a living. Uh, especially if you want to live on the farm like we've, I've been trying to my whole life. But uh, till next time, good Lord's willing the creek don't rise. We'll see y'all down the road. Thank y'all.